guys, welcome back to the garage. Today I'm going to tackle a topic that I see a lot on the Facebook groups and around the internet. A very common question I see people asking is uh, what GPS they're using and uh, what program they're using. Uh, I've been down a kind of a bumpy road with the GPS systems trying to find one that was pretty economical and it worked really well. So today I'm going to show you um, what I have done. May save you a few bucks, may save you a few steps. Um, it's been, it's been uh, several years, I guess two or three years since I've got, uh, try to get these GPS going and, um, what I've ended up with, I'm real happy with. So let me, let me show you where I'm at. Okay. So over the duration of time, I've used four different, um, types of GPS. The first thing I tried was this Garmin and this was a complete failure. This uh, this did not work out at all. It was just horrible. This um, I found the interface very horrible to use. I didn't like the base camp. I didn't like uh, I didn't like how small it was. I couldn't see anything. Uh, it just did not have any of the um, stuff that I wanted. And it was, it was just useless. Complete waste of money. Uh, it wasn't cheap either. So that was a big failure. Second, I went to this little Samsung and it, uh, with an OtterBox. And to be honest with you, this worked um, not too bad. Uh, but the problem was, first of all, the OtterBox wasn't 100% waterproof. Which, uh, in the stuff that we're in, that's, that's critical. And then the second problem was, is that the silly thing wouldn't, when I got my, uh, when I traded up, when I got rid of my commander and got the X3, and you, it wouldn't fit into the electronics holder. It, um, without modification. And I always thought the screen was kind of a little small too. So, continuing down the journey, the next thing I bought was an economical tablet. This is uh, by Dragon Touch. Now, mind you, this wasn't a bad little tablet. It worked okay. Uh, the two problems with this one was one that I couldn't find a waterproof case for it, which was my stupidity of the, by initially without researching that. And I put it in one of those big Ziploc bag tablet holders, which kind of looked like crap. And the interface was kind of slow on it. it. It was not as, um, fast start up it wasn't finding the gps as quickly the touching on it wasn't quite as uh, quick as i would have liked so i uh i ran that for a little while until i got frustrated with it and then what i finally ended up with was a samsung tab a and the reason i went with that was um there was a waterproof case for it that had pretty good reviews and the Tab A has an independent GPS system, works really well. They have a great name, of course. You know, they've been around a long time. So when I got that, I found the interface uh, with, with the cover on working super fast. There was just no lag time. Everything seemed to be working like it should. And then the case was this, like, no-name Chinese Amazon case, I guess. But I'll tell you, this case is waterproof. We, um, I'll post a um, link, but we had uh, one of our side-by-sides upside down for almost two hours in water with this exact same setup um, the ta and with this tablet in this case, and we pulled that thing out. That tablet and case was working totally fine and still is to this day. Oh, God. And there she goes. So I'll uh, put a link to this tablet, uh, this case anyway, um, below. It was, for no name, whatever it is, it works great. So the common theme through these three is I've always used the same um, app. And that is the uh, Backcountry. Backcountry Navigator. Backcountry Navigator is an app on the App Store. It is, the Pro is... Uh, I think it's under 20 bucks, but it, um, there's no reason, particular reason I saw, I used it. I guess it had good reviews at the time. Um, 
I like the fact that I could upload different maps to it. I'm sure there's hundreds that are like it, but this one I found for what I need works absolutely fantastic. So um, let me show you, I'll hit the app. This is a, an aerial map uh, of uh, my last ride in Florida. And this is a downloaded map. Uh, so it, uh, I'm sure all GPSs do this. They show the, they show the track and then you can point in waypoints and objects of uh, interest. And it tells you all the stats. I mean, on your trip data, it'll tell you, you know, uh, what, uh, where you went, what you did, uh, how far you went. It'll tell you um, your average speed, your elevation, uh, on and on and on and on. Like, um, it just tells you every stat you want. It's probably the most stuff you don't need. But most importantly, it works well as a GPS. It hooks up well to its satellite. Uh, the important thing is, too, is that if you don't have a lot of memory, you can actually download the maps that you want just in the certain areas of the country or state you're in. Uh, it comes preloaded with a bunch of um, common maps, but I really like the satellite terrain map. You can zoom in real nice. You can see the trails that we were running. It works out fantastically. Um, nothing bad to say, but I really like it. And like I said, I'm sure there's a bunch of other apps that uh, uh, are similar, but this is the one that I've gotten used to and I really like. So that's a real quick down in uh, quick fast and my history of GPS and three things I wouldn't do again and one that I would recommend and hope that helps somebody and hope that uh, uh, helps keep you from getting lost and get you back to the camp. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.